Montana is a rugged state. Our mountains, hills, rivers, and prairies are resource rich and beautiful beyond compare. Our highways and road systems make them accessible, and bridges are one of the most crucial parts of the transportation system. MDT works closely with other agencies and jurisdictions, such as cities and counties, to provide bridge inspection, load posting, and maintenance services. MDT is committed to ensuring Montana's bridges are safe, resilient, economically viable, and reliable. MDT's Bridge Bureau makes this happen. I think it is true that when people are driving down the road, they may not even realize that they're crossing a bridge. And in some cases, I think that's good. We don't want people to notice certain things. We just want it to be safe. To me, a bridge represents so many different things. I mean, it, it represents the ability to travel from place to place, to access different parts of our state. It is an economic driver. It carries goods to the marketplace. It helps people recreate. To count everything we inspect, including some smaller culverts, um, we have about 5,000 bridges. Bridges have three main components. They have a deck, which is the part that you drive on. They have a superstructure, which holds the deck up. And they have a substructure, which takes the load from the superstructure and transfers it into the ground, or what we call the foundation. One of our important roles is bridge inspection. So our bureau is responsible for inspecting all of the public bridges in the state. Through the bridge inspection program, we consider the condition of those bridges. If there's any problems with those bridges, we document that. And through the process of inspection, we can identify locations where we might need to replace a bridge or rehabilitate a bridge. Almost everything's on a 24-month cycle. If we have a bridge we're concerned about, we'll put it on a six-month cycle or a one-year cycle or a three-month cycle, depending on how fast we think it'll deteriorate. When determining whether to rehab or replace a bridge, it depends on the condition of the bridge, what parts of the bridge are, are in bad shape and it involves a lot of research, a lot of talking with the communities, understanding what the traffic patterns are, what the traffic needs are, and also looking at the structure then itself. When was it built? What kind of loads was it designed to support? What's the condition of the elements in the bridge that's already there? The Clark Fork River Bridge near Trout Creek was completed in 1958, before the Knoxon Reservoir was filled. The bridge has been well maintained over the past 60 years, but was in need of rehabilitation. MDT's bridge department and consultant engineering firm, HDR, identified several rehabilitation activities that would extend the useful service life of the bridge well into the future without having to replace the bridge. It is almost always more cost effective to maintain a bridge than to replace one entirely. Replacing the bridge deck, upgrading railing and expansion joints, cleaning and spot painting the steel substructure will keep Montana's drivers and visitors safe, use fewer resources, and ensure a transportation system that lasts. The cost to rehabilitate the Clark Fork River Bridge is estimated at $10.5 million. Replacing the bridge is estimated to cost two to three times that amount. Construction began in early April and is expected to be completed by the fall of 2020. A full closure of the bridge lasting six weeks was necessary to place the concrete bridge deck panels. MDT and their contracting partner, Hewitt, are using innovative construction methods to expedite construction. By placing precast concrete deck panels, crews are able to replace the bridge deck and open it back up to traffic in about half the time as traditional methods would take. Using a suspended scaffolding system beneath the bridge allows crews to safely work under the bridge, keeps debris out of the water, and allows boats to continue to pass below the bridge. For more information about the project, visit mdt.mt.gov backslash pub involve backslash Clark Fork Bridge.